this is Shanti Priya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So after a short break uh, and due to this COVID and also this rainy season, I'm again back with my new episode of Garden Trends. So finally, to speak about this place, I'm first I'm traveling somewhere outskirts of Mangalore uh, to shoot a garden and this place is Kumpala, almost 10 kilometers from Mangalore city. So finally here I've reached and this is a narrow road and finally I've parked my car here and uh, if you see we can just see almost uh, just 20 meters away the garden owner's house. So let's go there and see what special plants we can find there. Hope you all are excited with me. It's so scorching sunlight. We are just uh, travelled all the way from Manglo. We had planned in the morning but then uh, due to some circumstances I just couldn't make it in the morning but then finally I have reached here in the mid-afternoon. It's too hot, I'm just sweating but then I'm just even excited to see what are the plants I can see here. We are almost reaching towards the garden owner's house. Yay! So this is Saketa. The speciality here is before in my previous videos I have shot a lot of front yard gardens but here you can just see there are minimal plants. You might be wondering what I might be shooting here. Do not worry, I'll be just going up that is the terrace garden and then you will find out how beautiful it is. Come on, let's move. So I am moving towards the garden. Oh my god. The garden plants start from here itself. This is a narrow lane. Watery everywhere because it's a rainy season as you all know. But this is so beautiful. You see one side is a narrow lane and one side is this beautiful colourful crotons. Yes, so guys, this is the spot. I never even imagined we can have such a beautiful garden in the terrace. You know, we usually dump all these items which we are not in use when we don't have space at home. We just come and dump in the terrace. But here it is completely different. They have just converted their terrace into a garden. Wow, it's so beautiful. You just see in the terrace we can just have this uh, plants in the pots. There are so many pots have kept here with different varieties uh, and beautiful plants. Just see if you see this side we can see this beautiful colorful hibiscus. I'm already late. I've already arrived in the afternoon but still I am happy to see these blooming flowers here and some are already gone off. So here it is. The garden owners I must say uh, they are really lucky you know they have purposely done the seating arrangement you know it's so nice uh, in the evening maybe during your tea time just get a cup of tea come here chill and have some tea yes I'm going to sit here wow this is something I really love you see the hanging pots here varieties of colors you know this is green and the yellow color pot I'm just sitting right down of this yellow pot you know even I have one yellow and this is yellow pot here the purple and the orange color wow I just feel like sitting and relaxing here but then you know I just can't take risk you can't say anytime it might rain so let me just finish off this garden shoot uh, I can see so many beautiful flowers but then I think I'll focus just three to four because uh, rest of the flowers maybe we can find in some other gardens too uh, let's move, let's see what first can I focus. Yes, so here I am at this favorite plant of mine and of course a favorite flower of all the girls and also lovers. Here uh, you can just see this is the red rose and here I can find this in bunches that is the pink, pinkish white rose. Uh, there was a time you know 
uh, we could find rose plants everywhere but due to this urbanization and uh, uh, you know we need lot of care for these rose plants now we can find minimal rose plants at home so to speak about these rose plants uh, Roses. Before, usually when I was a kid, I was just thinking that roses are only red in color. But then I realized roses we can find in multi colors. You know, here you can just see this red color, and here you have this pinkish white. But uh, at some houses, maybe you can find this orange color, white, pure white color. Uh, I've also heard that there are even black roses. You might even seen these black roses if you have seen anywhere black roses. <laughs> i think uh, you can click a picture and uh, uh, send a message through instagram so that even i can uh, watch it to speak about this uh, scientific name the scientific name is very easy that is rosa and the common name is of course the rose uh, to speak here uh, rose they have uh, potted in this mud pot uh, here it's a plastic pot it's easy to grow these plants uh, in pots you know you can just uh, if you have a terrace you can just uh, plant it in the pots here as just as they have done it here uh, this is the mud pot and here they have done it in the plastic pot uh, i must say it's easy to plant but then it's really very difficult to maintain because these rose plants really require ultra care i can say because uh, unfortunate even though they are beautiful uh, these insects these pests come and just uh, spoil these uh, plants uh, to speak about roses i know everyone knows about this rose and uh, who doesn't love rose plants of course i love i know you people also love these roses so not to highlight much on this roses let's uh, move to the next plant because it's already cloudy i think i need to cover another two to three plants let's move Ouch. Oh, it's raining. But then I still I love this rain. Uh but to shoot let me use the uh, umbrella. Yeah, finally I got this beautiful umbrella. Purple color. Okay, let me start. Uh, here uh, there are few of the medicinal plants. Uh if you can just focus there I think uh, this is the turmeric plant. Uh, where you can find the turmeric and uh, all of us know the uses of the turmeric that is uh, we use it in the kitchen uh, also this is girls favorite i can say because it will surely help to beautify ourselves um, also these leaves uh, during ashtami that is the hindu festival they use it to do uh, sweets a uh, sw uh, kind of sweet using these leaves uh, also here this is the ginger plant ginger of course you all know uh, again uh, without ginger no curry is complete uh, so ginger is also used as a medicinal value that is it is used in the used uh, to cure this cough uh, and also here you can find this uh, mint leaves that is pudina we call it as pudina uh, pudina or mint uh, we can use it to make chutney also the mint juice is always uh, favorite of many uh so let me not focus more on these uh, medicinal plants because it's already raining and i need to finish off the other plants too so let's move ahead I don't understand this rain. It just came like a rocket and just went off. But yeah, it's nice. You know, I can just uh, focus more on the shoot. Let me close this umbrella and let me move forward. I thought of focusing more on these flower plants, but then when I came here, my mind just uh, changed because I could just find so many vegetable plants grown in the terrace garden. Uh, it's really something mesmerizing. We can even grow these vegetables or harvest vegetables in the garden itself. Uh, if you just have 2,000 square feet of uh, garden uh, terrace garden, uh, maybe even you can cultivate or uh, harvest some of the vegetables here. Uh, to focus here, I think here uh, what I can see here. is the green bean so this is a creeper what they've done is they've just tied this rope uh, uh, just for the creeper because the creeper is uh, just creep right so this is a green bean uh, they've planted in this uh, this is a different kind of pot It, this is called as plastic grow plastic i think plastic pot okay so here what i can find is this is the green leafy vegetable uh 
yeah green leafy vegetable is even my favorite vegetable uh, but see this everywhere i could find this green chillies and the red chillies but this is something purple chilli so this is called as korean chilli i think this uh, obviously this will be used for uh, curry but i'm not very much aware of this uh, chilli because even i'm seeing it for the first time but what i know is this is called as korean chilli uh, here there are see here you can find this brinjal this is just getting yeah flowering see a small brinjal okay these are all hanging pots what they have uh, tied on this uh, uh, rope okay uh, here there is some kind of uh, vegetable uh, locally it is called as ambatte but i'm not very well aware of this english uh, word i think uh, it's uh, it's better to ask the garden expert itself uh, we have the garden experts near me itself so let me call them i think they are the right persons to explain uh, about this garden so let me invite the garden owner here uh, so ma'am yeah uh, we have here dr shiv shankar who is working in father mullas uh, he's the in charge of lab also we have uh, his mrs uh, mrs jyoti and also his son uh, shrivatsa so i welcome you to the show sir and uh, i also thank you for giving me this opportunity to shoot your garden yeah. uh, so i'm uh, really overwhelmed by seeing the terrace garden because in my previous episodes also i have shot a uh, few of the plants in the front yard but the terrace garden this is the first experience for me too but uh, when i came i just so i thought it's a flower plant but then i could find the varieties i could find the herbal garden there then the flowering plant and here it's a vegetable garden so i think you're the right person sir ma'am so i think uh, it's better that you all explain so what uh, what are the varieties uh, vegetables you all are harvesting thank you thank you we have brinjal yes then uh, as you told ambatte which yes. can be used to prepare rasam sambar and all ah okay It's like sour in uh, taste okay okay so it belongs to the mango family mango family okay then, then of course pineapple is there oh There's yeah variety. pineapple Few two are there right yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, our uh, radish is there Mulangi oh radish there. oh that's in local yeah. it's called as mulangi yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah, bende is there lady's finger lady's finger where sir lady's, lady's finger bende is here on oh, oh uh, this no yeah, yeah it's yeah. just flower this is yeah, yeah lady's finger okay and our uh, alfred is there ah yeah Another green bean, bean yeah okay green bean is there okay then uh, this is ah there. this is the green leafy this is yeah. my favorite yeah very commonly spinach yeah spinach there, and uh, this is called avare 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 okay what is it so it's a fruit is it like bean like bean only okay 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 winged beans winged beans acha okay okay it's also good one we are first time we are growing this actually oh ho oh, even yeah. i'm hearing it for yeah, the yeah, first yeah. time to yeah in the villages and all very commonly they grow it okay But here uh, we are doing it for first time Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, villages they grow, and yeah. in the city, I think even yeah. it's for, uh, first experience for me. Too. It's nice. Uh, this is a vegetable garden. So uh, I've also heard when I came here, I think 32 varieties of hibiscus, hibiscus uh, you all have cultivated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do you take care of all this? Who is main? I mean, into gardening. Main oh, your missus. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> nice, ma'am. How much time do you spend in this garden? Two hours. Two day. hours per day. Yeah. Okay. So what about watering and all every day? Uh, generally, I do in the morning. Oh, so it's so, a mutual yeah. understanding, yeah, mutual help. Eighty percent of the work here she will take care. Okay. But watering and all in the morning only I do. Ah, uh, morning you all so finish off. So when mom is in the kitchen, you all yeah. finish off watering. It will be good exercise also for me. Yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, you use bucket and mug and. Uh, so since there uh, are many, oh, you yeah. use the bucket. Yeah, okay, yeah. you don't use the pipe. So there are around three uh, hundred pots. Okay, three yeah, hundred pots in the together. terrace or all yeah. together, even all down. Together. You are telling? Terrace, lentil, down and down. Ah, okay, okay, three hundred. Oh. So I do it. Okay, so varieties. Okay. You know, I could find some mud pots. I could yeah. find some plastic pots. And what is that called, sir? That the green grow thing? Bag. Grow, grow bag. bag. Okay, grow okay, bag. Okay, okay, fine. That's an eco-friendly one. Yeah, eco-friendly one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. initially we used to bring the cement plots, uh, pots, but then the weight. Uh -huh. you know, okay, okay. Terrace, it's okay. really a problem to put ah, more so weight. Ah, so we need to consider some yeah, of the things, sir. So according to you, to have a terrace garden yeah. uh, what are the basic requirements because uh, if you have to maintain the cleanliness of the terrace okay in the rainy season and all if water stagnation is there yeah, yeah, yeah. then fungal growth and all yes. your terrace is going to get yeah, spoiled yeah. so first you have to take care of this 
Okay. So second thing is uh, that's why water stagnation is not there in our terrace. We okay. should clean it very frequently. Okay. And once in a year we put white cement also. Oh, oh that's so you yeah. uh, remove the pots and yeah, then yeah. again you so put the white will cement. Come, okay, water okay. Will come. We shift that side. Okay. So once a year the white yeah. cement uh, garnishing is done. We are regularly doing it. Okay. It okay. Doesn't spoil. Then okay. the weight we have to consider. Okay. So that's why nowadays we. Stop with bringing cement pots. Only ah, okay. Plastic or fiber pots. Okay. And grow bags we have started. Of late, oh, more of grow bags, especially for mm. vegetables. Ah, vegetable you require grow bags. Grow bags okay. are required. That, okay, that so. way we are uh, maintaining it. Okay. Of course, she has to spend a significant time daily. Okay. Cleaning, maintaining. <laughs> yeah, all like trimming things. and everything yeah. we need to. So and you'll have a rose plant at one end, and that yeah. requires lot of care because lot these rose care. plants lot get of, uh, spoiled very soon. And what are the herbal plants too? Where yeah. I found all those pudina and all. It's nice to cultivate your own vegetable because when we go to market, we just yeah. get all these now artificial uh, grown right. vegetables. But then when it is at home, it is really healthy and hygienic. But how did you all get this interest? Like because most of them go just for. flowering plant because these yeah. flowers are really attractive to look and most of them just seeing the flower they like to grow this garden but then i could find varieties yeah. here so what what made you get into this vegetable herbal basically we are from the agriculture families oh okay both, uh, both of you all okay both parents okay uh, we are basically grown up in a villages okay and from agriculture families okay so that interest was there of course okay. we did not have the adequate land to do that okay so when we bought a house here mm -hmm. slowly we thought of having a terrace garden and okay. she is very much interested my wife okay at least to have a few pots five okay. pots then uh -huh. so it will yeah that is growing. a baby step you know yeah. start say one, one small step yeah exactly whatever we can yeah yeah so this is now it has reached its maximum level i, I don't mm -hmm. think we can put more and i think still more place. innovative uh, because yeah. see since it has reached maximum you all started with the hanging pots also yeah. so the more you all do the more creativity comes to your mind so and uh, see this one uh, during the summer for shade purpose ah okay yes, and, uh, yeah so yeah only yeah. during the summer season we put a green net ah this, okay oh that is on the top yeah, oh that top. i didn't observe and this will help for these climbers to okay yeah creepers yeah Something exactly Something is required no here no yeah, other yeah. support is there exactly this we will use even the other side also we put some green net Ah, so it is required. Uh, this is somewhere I, I saw the uh, grapes, right? Somewhere. Yeah, uh, one grape plant is here. Ah, okay. Yeah, the grape plant also here. Yeah. Okay. But this is our experimentation. Ah, okay. Somebody gave us and told. Okay. To cultivate and see. Okay. We are still not very sure how how ah, it will okay. go. Ah, okay. This is a baby plant now. You yeah, need yeah. to wait. You need to have patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will take time. They took yeah, two yeah, years, yeah. three years like okay, that. Okay, okay. And anyway, is, as one trial we have started. That's that nice, sir. To, to experiment is so always good. Each variety, one one two two plants we brought. Oh. Of course, our uh, hibiscus we have some thirty varieties. Thirty two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And we don't get everything from nursery. No. Okay, we then sir. We get from our village, our parents. Oh, oh okay. So this you yeah. mean to say this is yeah. not from nursery? You all have nursery, brought from village. Nursery, we have got. Very few. Yeah. Okay, that is required. Plants we generally get from see my sister's house, our ah, sister's okay, house. Ah, okay, okay. This parents. is really a nice habit, Where you know. Yeah, yeah. We, we ask people uh -huh. villages they have a so first of when you'll go to someone's house yeah. like first you'll see is the garden yeah, then yeah, you'll yeah, enter sure. that is the interest Now of a garden owner we go to them sometimes okay uh, some varieties ha uh ha -huh. this this is what happens when we have a garden people come and visit and they ask this like is nice yeah like people are there yes yes sir. even in uh, my biochemistry department also now few of my colleagues have got interest dr maitri my sir oh, so you are an inspiration again they to have indoor plants ha ah, indoor yeah so in indoor variety Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, what do you suggest? So, like for terrace, we require uh, open terrace because yeah. six to eight hours of sunlight is very much necessary. Okay. But what I find is some of the terrace, what they have is they have the sheet. Certain houses can they also grow uh, they certain can grow plants? More of indoor plants. Indoor types. But okay. See here, most of the plants they require sunlight. Ah, okay. Like a tier. Yeah, okay. Now see, even rain season, we have removed net everything. Okay. Because, uh, sunlight will be less. Okay. And all the vegetables they need sunlight. Mm hmm hmm. Any mm -hmm. any of the most of the plants. Yeah, these are sunlight. all uh, sunlight plants. Yeah. Okay. So that's why open terrace is preferred if you want to have yes. variety of plants. Yes. Okay. Open terrace is required. Okay. Then flowering plants, especially they need sunlight. Yeah, true. So if, if you are only growing indoor plants, then, ah, it's then okay. yeah, then it's sheet okay. also is yeah, fine. I am not yeah. so much in favor of indoor plants. Okay. <laughs> they want the natural plants. Natural, yeah. What we call uh, cardo varieties, no wild uh -huh, varieties. Uh -huh, okay. So uh, from 
our native places and all uh-huh. we go okay. we try to get in the all this and just spot it here yeah, now it is naturally growing like uh-huh. every year some pots are added some are removed that is true sir because the love towards the plant here what i can say is very more because see the vegetables also every plant i can find this yeah. vegetables grown because it's really difficult uh, it has to get up, uh, get long and then the vegetable comes toughest but we are very tough as vegetable growing is tough as exactly rose and vegetable rose yeah exactly vegetable problem is once it will come yeah. and after some time yeah the next uh, it's very difficult to get more Again, uh-huh. we have to change and all, and they yeah, need yeah. a bigger base also to grow okay. for the roots to grow. Okay. And the compost and other things also. Mm-hmm. So like uh, f- uh, mostly we get from nursery all okay. this uh, okay. cocoa pit. Okay. Okay. Cocoa pit, it will uh, reduce the this one. It will retain water. Retain water. We retain water. Okay. So we mix cocoa pit, uh-huh. soil plus okay. compost. Acha acha. Make okay. a mixture and then uh, we we only do most of the work here. Uh huh. And uh, we have our own compost here, the wet waste. You know, we don't okay. throw. Okay. Okay. So down so we have buckets, wet, close okay. buckets. Okay. Okay. We put it. You all have your compost yeah. and then you use it. Utilize the, it here. Put all the all the wet waste. Okay. Put waste and all. Okay. Then uh, put some butter milk or something uh-huh. that will serve as the fermenting agent. Acha okay. So she prepares it. Okay. So that way we have our own compost, mm-hmm. but that may not be adequate to. for so many number of plants so uh-huh. i have to get from nursery also very nice sir mm. it's really uh, worth i can say uh, it's worth coming here and obviously uh, youtube uh, viewers also they'll yeah. surely like this garden because uh, first of all it's a terrace garden it's an inspiration for the ones uh, who do not have a space i think minimal space they can actually utilize uh, their terrace uh, terrace to use uh, to have this garden and uh, one more thing is what is so is vegetable herbal garden again uh, really it was worth coming and Uh, obviously few of them will be sh- uh, will surely inspire from this uh, sh- uh, shoot and obviously yeah. they too also will surely have some garden so i thank you again uh, thank dr shiv shankar sir thank also you. ma'am uh, and also the kids uh, they are really sweet they were there with me whole time when i was shooting this so thank you again so thank you so thank much, you much. <laughs> thank, thank you very much thank you sir. thank you for coming thank yeah. you sir so guys it's time to wind up the show because it's already cloudy and before it starts pouring i need to rush home uh, that's all for today's episode Uh, I'm really happy. It's worth coming, and uh, I've justified the shot because uh, I've I could give lot of information about the uh, herbal plants, about the flowering plants, about the vegetable garden. Uh, so I'm um, I hope that you all will like this uh, video, and if you like, please do press the like button, uh, do comment, and also do press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. If you all have any terrace gardens at your homes, kindly do send a picture in my Instagram that is Shanti Priya underscore. Lasrado so until we meet again take care stay safe bye bye